The overall goal of this procedure is to determine viral concentration through the quantification of infectious virions by counting discrete plaques in cell culture. This is accomplished by first plating cells to form a confluent monolayer for infection. The second step is to perform serial dilutions of the unknown viral sample to be quantified. Next, the confluent monolayers are infected using the serial dilutions of the viral stock followed by application of an immobilizing overlay. The final step is to fix and stain the plaques after the appropriate incubation time for the virus in question in order to count the discrete plaques. Ultimately, plaque assays can be used and modified in a number of different ways in order to determine the viral titers of an unknown viral sample. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as the semi-solid overlay, is that application and removal are far simpler in both high throughput and traditional applications. In addition, no heating of the reagents is required. The implications of this technique extend towards the research of many different lytic viruses, as the use of a liquid overlay in a 96-wall format allows for the rapid screening of novel therapeutic compounds, which can greatly decrease the long hours spent in the lab performing traditional plaque assays. On the day prior to the assay, plate the appropriate cells for the virus in question in order to achieve 90 to 100% confluency the day of infection. The stock solutions can also be prepared the day before the assay. First, prepare a fixing solution of 10% formaldehyde in distilled water by mixing 5.56 milliliters of 36% stock formaldehyde with 14.44 milliliters of distilled.